Happy summer, everybody. Oh, I should have thought about this. Aww. When your best friend texts you, I love you and I hope you're having an amazing Monday. You shine as bright as the sun. And then send a gorgeous photo of the sun. Welcome to the new location. This is my bedroom. Also, if you notice something in my mouth, I'm on the rubber band portion of Invisalign. Just roll with it, okay? This is where we have been recording for the past few weeks. The lighting that this bathroom has is incredible. However, I've made some changes to my bedroom and I want to show them to you. Little quick room tour. It's not done, okay? Don't get it twisted. This is the base. The next step is to add wall art, pops of color, things of that sort. But let me show you what I've done so far. We have a queen size bed. It only has a full mattress, but I'll get there. And the bedding is Brook Linen. This is a Lux Bundles. They're hotel style sheets. And I did a customized bundle, so I have um, a cream comforter and then sort of these gray grayish sheets and pillowcases and then i got this new rug she's gigantic love this chair is from my old apartment in new york i have some fresh flowers from the farmer's market i actually bought two nightstands but currently i just care about this more than having two nightstands i'm a single girl i don't need both and then the other nightstand's just hidden in here in my lovely little walk-in closet. And I have these mobile purse racks that rotate. This is a curtain. <laughs> this curtain is going to be floor length, hanging from here. Just the rods have not arrived yet, but that's the next step. Then we have a shoe rack, my dresser. This dresser was from my old apartment. Then we have full-length mirror. I'm in my little Marc Jacobs set. And then... We have the bathroom, which I really did not pick up, but I love her. Have I showed you her yet? Come on, gorgeous. That's my room, and I love my new bed sheets. I also have a Brooklyn and set in pink, so sometimes you might see the pink set, sometimes you'll see this neutral one, and Brooklyn is having a summer sale and everything's 15% off, so use it because they don't have sales very often, and High quality bed sheets are really expensive. This whole bed set was maybe like $200, $250. And it was a full bed set, which is amazing. And this is their hotel quality. So if you guys are interested, I will have them linked down below because they so kindly sponsored this video. I love them. So many of my friends have Brooklyn and sheets. My dad has Brooklyn and sheets, Brooklyn and towels, whatever you want. World's your oyster. I'll have it all linked down below. The next minute and 10 seconds of this vlog are so beautiful. It is so calming, so relaxing. I want you to give your full attention for the next 70 seconds. You have to promise me that you really just look and watch and breathe and take it in for what it is. Because this is what my soul has felt like <laughs> since I moved here. This set of 70 seconds is what my brain is doing. It's just like this. Okay, let me know. the PCH and here's a crystal heart.
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, peasants. Welcome back to our show. I'm Candy. And I'm Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> and you're watching Disney Girls Channel. in Wigs. Dun, 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 dun. Hi, I'm Tracy. And I'm from Alabama. I'm from Huntsville. And I'm a Facebook mom. Now, instead of Patricia, I'm Morticia Adams. Actually, I'm Casey Musgraves. Yeehaw. <laughs> Welcome to my Nashville Architectural Digest. Five, six, seven, eight. Part of your world. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Da 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 Under the sea. I had to burn a Tony leftovers. Tyra made a little something we like to call glorified mac and cheese. Bon Appetit would refer to it as cacio e pepe. Behind the scenes for a show that I'm doing. Do to do to do 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 to do to do. <laughs> hey, hey. Happy Saturday! I wanted to go to the flea, and then I found out there was a closet sale even closer. So, I'm gonna stop there first. The chokehold this wall had on LA. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to have a beauty chat. Hello. So I showed you my armpit with no context. And I wanted to say that after trying so many different hair removals, including waxing, I'm back on the waxing train. And I just want to say that if you have a little extra money to spend instead of spending it on some like late night munchies or like a dinner or something, use it towards going to a nice wax studio because I would go to these janky waxing studios in New York that were definitely not sanitary and I can spend like 10 20 dollars more and go to a nice place that is clean and I trust the people doing it I have been going to this place on Sunset in Silver Lake I think it's called Stark and they've done my underarms Brazilian I even got my legs done last week which is when this happened and I want to talk more about this in a few months once I've done several sessions on my legs i've been waxing like my brazilian area for quite some time but i waxed my legs for the first time ever and i have a feeling this is going to be part of the routine because it is so nice guys this is the amount of hair under my arms in one week and there's not really stubble let's focus on it one week i don't know how to really do this my legs i've done shaving i also did at home ipl which is kind of like at home laser uh i didn't keep up with that enough and then shaving's just annoying and if i can eliminate stubble i want to so if anyone has if anyone watching has something of substance to say on this topic like you actually have knowledge to back it up because i'm over here just like a stupid little customer being like this is the best if you can explain why it's the best, please do because this is this new, it's a rediscovery, but I'm seeing it in a whole new way. And that's my shtick. I feel really stupid for this clip. I just saw, you know, the clip of me showing my arm and I was like, let's talk because 
they don't know. They don't know that I love waxing and that this is how I keep my skin so nice and smooth. I would love to have a segment in an upcoming vlog where I just give all of my skin tips, how I keep my skin smooth and glowy because I thought I didn't do much because I kind of go for this more natural, easy, light look. I'm not full beat, full glam. But that doesn't mean that I don't have a beauty routine. And one element of my beauty routine is waxing. I feel like I'm this bougie 26 year old woman going into this nice waxing studio. Yeah, that's a little update, <laughs> little lifestyle upgrade. again and I can't lie I'm feeling like a little insecure about this waxing conversation I don't know why I'm overthinking it a little bit also I want to bring up my room again I know we started with this at the beginning of the vlog but if any of you guys know places mm, I'll be quick places to get big pieces of art or if any of you are artists or have any room ideas because I want something big here, something big above the bed, a big piece of art here. I also have this space that I can do something with. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is what's going on on top of the bed. Sorry, I have my workstation, you know? It oozed. So please, if you can leave any help, I want pops of color. I'm really feeling pink right now. I want to somehow incorporate like hot neon pink into here somehow, which doesn't make sense yet, but I'm hoping that it will. Also, I'll take you outside for a moment. Also, there's constructions. Do we even need to hear? Um, I have this really long hallway, which I feel would be great for large framed posters, maybe movie posters, maybe getting photos, like personal photos blown up. I feel like there's a lot of space for that. And then do we have Miss Tyra working? Oh, you're so cute. I actually need lunch, honestly. Do you want some ceviche? Guys, look. Yes. Look at what I made. Okay. Except for apparently it's not ceviche, but it's quite close. It's really good. I would like some ceviche too. It's shrimp salad, we'll say. Also, look at my new anklet. I made it today. I also made this necklace today. This is my shrimp salad. It's fresh lime juice, fresh lemon juice. Red onions, cucumber, shrimp, jalapeno, I'm missing something, cilantro, salt, pepper. Very easy, gets better as it marinates. Fantastic, refreshing, fresh. Also, we purchased these at random at Whole Foods and they're so good. These Annie's Cheddar Cheesy Smiles. What other fun things do I have to show? Anything that's been interesting? I feel like these, I normally hate LaCroix, and I feel like if you like LaCroix, you would hate this flavor, but the lemon jello, I don't know. I think I want this too. Then, there's nothing else interesting. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in a new vlog very soon. XOXO, subscribe. Follow me on the internet.
listen to my podcast. We haven't had a new episode out because I'm switching networks, but that's just back end stuff. I am going to serve myself this salad, edit this vlog, post it, and enjoy the rest of my Wednesday.